This MMA 30 segment is powered by The Gun Store. Next time you're in Las Vegas, if you want to shoot a real machine gun, do it at The Gun Store at 2900 East Tropicana. Good morning, MMA 30. I'm John Alessio. You guys are here to watch me get ready for my big upcoming fight. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Ryan. Go Tron. We're going all the way to the back where the magic happens. At Extreme Mature, we're really lucky. We got cages, we got rings, so whatever we're fighting in, we can be prepared for 100%. Want a coach? That's where I keep all my equipment. All right, so I'm gonna go to the bathroom and get changed. I'll be right back. Well, today I got my striking coach, Gil Martinez, one of the best striking coaches in the game. You guys are about to see me get put through a variety of workouts from him, either on the mitts, medicine ball on my stomach, a double end bag, power shots, rope for doing footwork. Uh, he's a complete striking coach, and uh, I'm not gonna enjoy it too much. Now it's time to get warmed up, because I'm about to get tortured for an hour. Eating healthy and having a good diet is always a big part of fighting. I eat good foods. I eat foods that are going to give me the fuel that I need to get through the day, get through my workouts, and help me make weight and just be the best athlete possible. Gil has been my striking coach now for just under two years, I'd like to say, and I've been working really, really hard with him, very extensively, and he's increased my hand speed, my hand power, my, my general footwork, and of course, angles. I'm now understanding why they call boxing the sweet science. There's so much to it other than just, you know, punching and getting hit. It's uh, all about angles and he's really helped open my mind and understand where I can hit and not be hit. And it's just been amazing. Amazing since I've been uh, working with him and growing as a fighter. I got a lot smarter, I feel like. So I feel like the sky's the limit for Gil. Yeah, my big upcoming fight, uh, I'm fighting a guy that's pretty well-rounded. He's really physically strong, hits really hard, hits like a truck. But I really feel like my technique will just take over and, and I'll finish him at some point in the fight. I'm very confident in this fight. I studied my opponent very well. He's fought people that I know and there's just no way he can beat me. I think I'll have faster hands, I'll have a better technique when it comes to jiu-jitsu or the stand-up. I'm prepared and in good physical condition and mentally ready to go. All right, we're done with the mitt part, <coughs> the punching part. Time to go work my core section right now and get my abs strong as steel. Now I'm gonna finish off practice by stretching out my body real good. I think it prevents a lot of injuries and keeps an athlete a lot more flexible and healthy. A lot of jiu-jitsu moves reflect on having good flexibility and good technique. So the more flexible you can get, the, the more bad positions you can get put in and uh, I believe the more you can escape out of and pull off. Well everybody, that's a wrap. Thanks for joining me, MMA 30, for one of my workouts, getting ready for my next big fight. It's probably a lot easier to sit back and watch than it was for me to do it. That's hard work right there, baby.